Let's find the oxidation states for each element here in NaPF6. There are two ways we can do this. First, we know that this whole thing, this compound here, it doesn't have a positive or a negative outside. So this is a neutral compound. Neutral compounds, all the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. So sodium, that's in group one. That's plus one. Phosphorus, we don't have a rule for that, but fluorine is always negative one. So you can look at this and see we have a plus one and then fluorine, the negative one, and there are six of them. So a negative six and a plus one. Phosphorus, that has to have an oxidation state of plus five. So that's a fairly easy way to do it. You could also look at this compound. If you knew you had a sodium ion and this ion here, you know that if you have an ion like PF6 minus, that with an ion, all the oxidation numbers, they add up to the charge on the ion. So here we would have phosphorus, we don't know that, plus fluorine is negative one, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six of those, multiply it by six, and the whole thing has to equal the charge on the ion. So if you solve for x, you'll add six to both sides, and x will equal a positive five, just like we found before. So if we're trying to find the oxidation numbers for each element here in NaPF6, that's how we do it. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.